Devon is one of England's largest and most diverse counties and in this film, the first in a series of four, we will be taking a tour around its eastern region. We'll be visiting ancient towns and beautiful villages, a stunning coastline and the county's capital city. We'll take a look at some of the historic industries that have flourished here and examine the important part that canals, railways and tourism have played in developing the area, as well as the ever-present influence of the sea. We begin our journey in the town of Tiverton, blessed by the convergence of two rivers, the Ex and the Loman, which made it an ideal site for occupation from the very earliest of times. In Norman times, Henry I recognised Tiverton's importance and in 1106 he built a Motton Bailey castle here, which was extensively remodelled over later centuries. During the English Civil War, the castle was held by the Royalists until a parliamentarian force under Sir Thomas Fairfax bombarded it with heavy artillery in October 1645. After its surrender, Fairfax employed it as his own winter headquarters before resuming his campaign in the West Country. Today, the castle is much more peaceful and is open to visitors along with its beautiful walled gardens. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the town itself grew rapidly because of a thriving wool trade, but by the early 19th century, this had gone into steep decline. Then, in 1815, a lace maker from Loughborough called John Heathcote bought an old woollen mill on the River X, following the destruction of his own factory by Luddites. As a result, he moved his entire lace making operation here, and such was his reputation for looking after his workforce that 500 workers and their families are said to have walked the 190 miles from Loughborough to come and live and work for him in Tiverton. The Heathcote factory is still one of the town's core businesses to this day. 